it forms part of our heritage. Our culture, the way some of us we pray, we worship God Almighty before the Arabs introduced Islamic faith and then the Europeans brought the Christian aspect to us. There's a need for us to maintain part of our heritage at least so posterity will not judge us wrongly. The one in charge unfortunately is not in at the moment. There's a priest in charge who would have prayed for us in a traditional way. From this angle, my brother, from this angle, true to this end, there is a very huge underground passage, a tunnel behind the wall. And this is the width. As I said, the width. We shall walk over the length later. Some of us were already on it. Perhaps you didn't know. Don't worry. We shall walk on it in unison. I'll give you the opportunity to peep the tunnel from an angle. Then we'll move on to female dungeons after we have seen the end of the tunnel. When our fathers were here, there was no temple this way. And therefore, it was an open space where our fathers had to walk through the tunnel like this, like that. Mm -hmm. Depending on how you were chained, join our mothers at door of no return. So they never went out this way to the boat, no. This was the way out. And when you get there, please just describe the tunnel to yourself. How wide deep it is. When you get there, you see it. They sealed both ends after 1834, a year after slave trade finally ended in British West Africa. You knew very well that in 1807, it was promulgated in the British Parliament that slave trade had been banned or abolished. Did they end? No. It continued even in this council until 1833. And in America, somewhere 1861, 65, when Abraham Lincoln used it as political tool to eventually become the president of the USA. Yeah. So in England, they credited one William Wilberforce and his team, Thomas Claxton, Gavin Sharp, and some few judges who continuously kick against the slave trade business in British Parliament. Then the bill taking their pass became an act, and they stopped it entirely in this castle. However, the Dutch continued in Elmina Castle. Elmina Castle, I told you, Portuguese built it, 1482. Yes, they were there for 155 years, meaning 1637 on the 29th of August, the Dutch traveled there and defeated the Portuguese. Portuguese later left for Angola, Mozambique, Equatorial Guinea to continue their exploration, expedition, as they put it. And Dutch therefore stayed in Elmina Castle for 235 years until 1872 when they came into an agreement with the British. The Dutch ceded the Elmina Castle to Britain on mutual grounds because they were no more interested in the area and then they wanted to go to, what do we call it, uh, Indonesia. So it was like a swap, sort of. British were also no more interested in Indonesia, so they took over and they also took over. That was the only time they, they went to an agreement, a peaceful land. Sorry. Oh, madam, my own mommy out of this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, question. Yes, sir, my brother. Um, they talk about William Wilberforce and all these people yes. who they say assisted him. What about our ancestors who, who were in the war to, I mean, who was also aiding in our uh, emancipation from the slave trade? You know, always the literature is skewed towards one direction. Right. If it favors them, they will highlight it yes. the more. But if it favors you, that has been the problem. That doesn't mean I was even right here. Some of our ancestors kick against it. 
but they didn't give him prominent attention. Right, right. But whatever they did, they will always hammer that aspect. Many of us, there was a chief in uh, uh, Zambia, and even a chief in uh, Benin at the time. Later, they realized that the treatment that they are, they are, the people were going through was completely inhumane. So they wanted to opt out. What they did, what the European did was that if you are no more interested in the business, they will arm this chief to fight against the war. That's what they did. So our ancestors, many of them were not interested in the business, tried to fight against it, but the Europeans in their own wisdom try to do the divide and rule tactics and what are they? And they would not give a prominent attention to our ancestors who fought against it. Mama, Akwaba. Until then. Yeah, our own mama, Africa. Over here. That's the tradition she's used to eat. She you know she was once like us. And she decided to stay home and do the work for you. And she's been with us for some decades. <laughs>